What else is new in my life? I, believe it or not, am a dog owner for the first time in my life, okay? A week in to owning a dog, I grew up with an Italian mom that wouldn't let a hair off an animal allowed on the floor. We had a dog for like a week and she saw a hair and she's like, we got a dog, that's not for us. <laughs> so I thought I was like a, a, a dog hater my whole life. And I had this moment, if you have kids, I don't know if you've had this moment yet. My 10 year old, him and I went to a restaurant and there was a Rottweiler at, at the front of the restaurant tied up. And my son, I couldn't believe he did this because it's a big, scary looking dog. He went up and just starts petting it on its head for like a minute. And then he just looks at me and he goes, he's cute. <laughs> and my heart just broke. I was like, I cannot get him a dog. I'm a bad person. I suck. I suck. So I get home. After working that night, it was like 1.30 in the morning, I text my wife, I go, we're getting a dog. Don't let me out of it, because I'm gonna try to get out of it tomorrow, okay? <laughs> I've had a couple of drinks, but we're getting a dog, okay? And then uh, I started doing research, I started doing research. I was like, what kind of dog? What's a really easy one? What's one that sucks and doesn't do anything? That's what I'm looking for, right? <laughs> It can't shed, it can't bark, it can't play. Just above a stuffed animal, that's what I'm looking for. So I think that I find a dog breeder, this is how clueless I am, because I thought I wanted a French poodle, right? That's how I thought I wanted to go. One of those little tiny dogs that you can put in like a purse, that's what I wanted. Hi, my French poodle. With those bat ears they have. <laughs> That's what I thought I wanted, right? So I do research and I, it says breeder and then I email them and they go, we have about three of these, you should come. And I go, the next day with my wife and kids, I go, we gotta go, we gotta go do this with all of us, let's go. We're not getting a dog though, that day. We're not gonna get it that day, we're just going. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever been to one of these places. So we get there. It's not a dog breeder. There's about 20 dogs, they're all puppies, and there's about 20 cats, and they're all kittens, and that's it. And then they have all these like rooms with no ceiling, just like these little boxed out rooms. And then you go in there, and you just start picking dogs, and they bring them into your room, right? Felt very brothel-like, it really did. <laughs> Um, yeah, like, I'm looking for, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, bring her over, bring her over. <laughs> so my wife's like, that beagle, so cute. Let's get the beagle in here. We go, all right, give me the beagle. He comes in, this beagle's doing 900 mile an hour laps. <laughs> he won't even let you pet him. We're like, what <laughs> the heck's going on? <laughs> no beagle. <laughs> I'm looking, I'm like, all right, let's do, they do have the, you know, the French bulldogs. All right, let me, let me see a French bulldog. And they bring two in. And they're just like, nya, 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 nya. they're wrestling, they're chewing each other. They're not even caring about us. They're just like, nya, 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 nya. And I'm like, get out of here. <laughs> no French bulldogs, get out of here, no. And I'm like, oh, what the hell else can we do here? And I remember I did research when I was doing the research of the, uh, it's hard for me to say, the, the uh, King Charles Cavalier Spaniel, right? My brother who knows everything, I have the younger brother is always like, this is, this is the dog you should get. My friend has one, it's really chill. That's the dog for you. And if you don't listen to my brother, he's gonna make fun of you forever. I told you, man. You went with English Bulldog, I'm telling you. It was, I can't even say it. It's a hard thing for me to get out. That's too long of a title. What kind of dog you have? I have a... Uh, I got ADD. I can't even get the word. So I'm like, I have... Uh, it's a... Uh, it's a Cavalier. Uh, King Charles. Spaniel. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got to shorten it. For the first time in my life, I realized why they call dogs man's best friend. Dad's... or men here that have dogs. 
That's why they call it man's best friend. Because at 9 o'clock at night, my wife has to put the kids to bed and get them dressed for sleep, and I just leave with a dog <laughs> and walk around the neighborhood <laughs> with a cigar in my hand. I can have bourbon with me with the iPhone on, listening to music. You can ignore dogs, they don't care. It's not like your kids or your wife. There's no one going, get off your screens. You're just on your screens. He's just walking. It's just amazing. You see other dads in your neighborhood and you just guys, you give that look like, ah, it's good. Ah. Yeah, dude. Who wants to be inside? I don't. You know what it's similar to? When, uh, when you were young, you would watch all like the dads when you were growing up mowing their lawn in like the 92 degrees. And when you were younger going, what are they doing? That looks awful. And then when you have your own kids, you're like, dude, I cannot wait to mow the lawn. It's all humidity. I cannot wait to get out there. Get me away from these guys. 